Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews. We have the review for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'll let you know now, this is not the final review. I will be doing a Platinum review on this. That is where I go back. I do every single chapter with every single character and do all the what ifs and all that fun stuff, get every trophy and then I'll review it. So this is gonna be just a quick review going over the base game and initial thoughts and whatnot. So after about 10 hours with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, I can say this is a really good fighting game. It's re reminiscent of the older years of playing Dragon Ball Budokai and Tenkaichi with my friends. It is a blast, but there are some issues that are present. First off, you play through the Dragon Ball story, which we've all seen, uh, mostly everybody has seen, and they do a good job at retelling the story in parts. There are some issues that I did run into playing through Goku's story, for example, his saga. You run into moments where iconic moments in Dragon Ball Z history, like Goku turning Super Saiyan for the first time is just glossed over. Instead of, you know, a full visual of it, it's just a uh, picture and it's like and Goku transforms into his strongest form and then you see him already as Super Saiyan and like I know it's something we've seen so many times but iconic moments like this not being shown and instead it's a picture by picture and you're having to read the stuff on the screen I feel like that's kind of a miss and it would have been cooler to actually see him do the formation transformations and everything because this game is absolutely gorgeous this is by far the best looking Dragon Ball Z game and one of the best looking fighting games so to see something like that was a little bit disappointing also the what ifs that I have done so far have all been kind of lackluster playing through Cell Saga for example I went and I defeated Cell and whatever instead of staying back at the hyperbolic time chamber I was like let's go and help Piccolo and in in such, I beat Cell, I beat all the androids, and then Goku went home and, you know, just lived his life and was good. And that's pretty much what all these are. You go and you do whatever the alternate path is, and the alternate path always leads to, well, Goku defeated him. Good job. And it doesn't really add too much to the what ifs. Also, a lot of the what ifs are done by accident by me, where you're not supposed to beat the enemy. You're supposed to just wait for the fight to end. And unfortunately, in doing so, I'm just sitting around running around the ring, trying not to hit the enemy as time expires so that I can actually complete the level. It's a little bit annoying to see that instead of me actually continuing the path, I'm having to go out of my way, dodging them and trying not to hit them in order to continue the story. So I think that's a little bit disappointing. The fighting is very solid. I have ran into a few things where I attack an enemy and then you can't find them anymore. They're supposed to have an outline, but the outline's not there or you just can't see them. I've had times to where I go to use my R2 circle when in sparking mode and it doesn't work and I have to just keep tapping it over and over again. So there are a little bit of frustrations with the combat, but overall this game is fantastic. They did a fantastic job with continuing the Dragon Ball Z series for fighting games and I definitely think if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z if you're a fan of fighting games this is a highly highly just purchase the game you'll thank me later if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below I would give Sparking Zero currently an 8 out of 10 thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more platinum review goodness as always keep getting those trophies I'll catch you on the next video